Crypto is on the ballot this midterm election with whomever takes control of Congress having an impact on the future of crypto regulation. Joining us right now is uh, Perry and Boring, uh, Chamber of Digital Commerce founder and CEO. Nice to see you. Which side are you Hi, rooting for? <laughs> Look, crypto, this is not a partisan issue. And as a nonpartisan organization, we want to keep it that way. Recent polls do show that digital assets are becoming increasingly important to voters. One in five registered voters today own cryptocurrency. These are people from across the aisle. This is a very important constituency. These are people from the younger generation. Some of them right. are new voters. This is a smart Fair and enough, informed. But is there is there? I mean, when you look at the political wins and and what may or may not happen come Tuesday, you know, is a um, is a, is gridlock in Washington good for you? Is gridlock bad for you? What would you prefer? I think we're just starting to see how crypto is going to impact politics. Uh, across the country, this uh, this year, there's a handful of pro crypto candidates like Blake Masters and Ted Budd. We've got our first kind of super PACs that are pro crypto that have raised hundreds of millions of dollars. This community is really just starting to get involved in politics. I think that watershed moment for crypto and politics is likely to be in 2024, and I think the next presidential presidential election. Uh, the candidate that is able to figure out how to leverage blockchain to tap into the crypto community is going to be your next president. Uh, think about it. Uh, when the Obama, what, what gave Obama campaign its edge? They were the campaign that used smartphones that allowed them to tap into a critical uh, base of younger voter voters. What gave Trump his edge? He was the candidate of Twitter, again, a technology that allowed him to tap into a new base. Blockchain technology has the potential to increase participation in, in the political process, and we're just starting to see the tip of the iceberg of that.